is the solubility product, your K value. What you determine to be your X from your ice tables, this will be your molar solubility. All right, so it says, write the chemical reaction for the dissolving of a lead, lead iodide solid. Dissolving of any ionic compounds. You have your solid. Go into your solution. You could also write this as Ag ion and iodide ions. But please remember, the halogens will not have a 2 in their formula for their ions. They all form 1 minus ions. All right, it said write the equation for the reaction of silver, nitrate, and sodium chloride. Ag, NO3, sodium chloride. What type of a reaction will this be? Does it? Does it? Oh my god. Yes, thank you. We'll make it silver. <laughs> you're the only person that noticed, or you're the only person that said anything? I just thought you were doing different things. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, here we go silver nitrate, <clears throat> sodium chloride. What do you get? Type of reaction? Double displacement. Double displacement. So you switch the position of the metals. Everything happens to be 1 plus or 1 minus, which is convenient. Which one of these two products is a solid? How would you know? Yeah, check the back of your periodic table where you have your solubility table. Or you can remember, all nitrates are soluble. So this one's going to be your AQ, this one's going to be your solid. Bless you. You take the moles divided by the volume in liters and you get molar concentration. So if there is a situation here where I initially had so much of a solution, and then after I have a new volume, I have a new concentration. So, initial concentration is the initial moles divided by the initial volume. The final concentration is the final moles divided by the final volume. But you said I didn't add any more silver nitrate. So that means these two quantities are equal. So C initial, V initial is equal to the initial number of moles, which is equal to N final which is equal to V final times C final. So basically, you have this situation where the concentration times the volume initially is equal to the final concentration times the final volume. This allows you to find one of these pieces of information. I know my concentration, I know the volume, it was 100 milliliters. 
I know my final volume, it's 250, so I can figure out my final concentration. You use this whenever you make a dilution. So if I need to make uh, one molar hydrochloric acid from a 12.1 molar hydrochloric acid bottle, I can figure out the volume that I need to make a certain quantity of that concentration. Which we do a lot because it's cheaper to buy a big bottle of concentrated than a few bottles, big bottles of a less concentrated. So the question here is if you have 250 milliliters of silver nitrate solution, that's 0 0.20 molar, and you dilute it to one liter, what is the new concentration? And don't forget, <coughs> molar is just another way of saying moles per liter. So you're going to plug in your values and solve for the second concentration. So C initial, V initial divided by V final is my final concentration. So 0 0.2 moles per liter times 0 0.25 liters divided by 1 liter gives you your final concentration. at 0 0.05 moles per liter. So is our final solution more concentrated or more dilute? It's diluted. And we use the dilution equation to figure it out. So when you do these calculations, you're getting a more dilute solution. When you start these questions, Always write out your equation for the dissolving of your solid to form ions. Okay, so there's your equation for the dissolving of lead to iodide. It wants to know the molar solubility, so it's looking for X. And it gives you your K. Now, do we know the initial concentration? Because when you use ice tables, you need an initial concentration, correct? So do we know it? Does it matter? No for a reason that you mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. That iodide is a solid. So it doesn't matter. It's not going to factor in. Initially, it's the same as it was before. We have no products. Put in the change. That's what we have at equilibrium. So our K is now a KSP, because we're talking about solubility. And it is 8.5 times 10 to the negative 9 
It's going to be equal to the products over reactants. So it's equal to the products, the ions. So x, 2x squared. So 4x cubed is equal to 8.5 times 10 to the negative 9. Divide by 4. And then find the cubed root of both sides. Are any of these ions common to the question we just did? Kyle, you nodding your head. Which one? The iodide ions. This is called the common ion effect. What happens is if you add a solution that has the same ions, it will affect your equilibrium. So we have, this is still our equilibrium reaction. But now we have a source of iodide ions. And it says 0.1 molar. So this goes on our initial line. So now we have a common ion. It comes from sodium iodide. It's only 0.1 because I only make one ion. So change is still plus x, plus 2x. 0, 0 0.1 plus 2x. Your KSP doesn't change. Oops. So you've got x times 0 0.1 plus 2x, all squared. Are you okay? Do you follow me so far? Uh, Wait, so that's 0 0.1 from sodium iodide? It's yeah. Not, it's in the solution, so it's just comes part of the initial. For just iodide? For just iodide, because there's no lead. So it's like somebody dumps some sodium iodide solution in there, and it's going to do something. If you use Le Chatelier's principle on this, you just increase the amount of iodide. Which way do you think the system is going to shift? You're adding iodide. It's going to shift left. In this situation, what does shifting left mean? What does this mean? What are you making more of? More solid. You're going to have more lead iodide precipitating out. So that must mean that our molar solubility is going to change. So... Being that we're chemists and not math people, we're going to take the efficient route. We are going to make an assumption zero point one plus two x is approximately zero point one, so that we don't have to foil that. So this becomes x times 0 0.1 squared. So x is going to be what value?
What number do you get? So my question here is, what happened to the solubility? Did it go up or go down? It went up? More dissolved? We've got 8.5 times 10 to the negative 7 as our molar solubility. What was it in the previous question? It was to the negative 3. So this is way smaller by a factor of like 10,000. This is way smaller, less dissolved, and that's because it's forcing the equilibrium to shift to more solid. Makes sense. Okay. So concentrated means you've got a lot of solute, dilute. Not a lot. So this could be like 10 moles per liter. This could be like 0.1 mole per liter. Okay.